Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have a video today using crepe paper. So using crepe paper in your junk journal or your paper crafting. Let's get right into it. And so I have already taken and sewn a paper ribbon for um, using the crepe paper. I have sewn some tabs using the crepe paper and I have actually sewn a little box onto the bottom of this here. So let me show you. Um, I just fed this into my machine, my saw machine. I, I started it under the, the zipper or under the foot, the sewing foot, and just uh, ruffled it, okay, as I was pushing it through. For the... Um, for the tabs, I took about four inches and I ripped it and I folded it in half, okay? And then I took and I sewed them through. And now where this one I sewed in the middle, these I sewed a little bit, of like one third my seam as is at about one third, not at a half. And I did it so that they can kind of be fan. They will be double sided this way. It also makes them much more sturdy. So that is how I did those two. This one, I went ahead and I ripped a piece off. I sewed it around. Now remember crepe paper does stretch, okay? And it will stretch while you're pushing it, and it'll bubble out like that if it stretches. Okay, you see that? That's why it makes such beautiful flowers, because it will, um, it will give you that, that bubble. Um, and then I just sewed it on in a box, and then I trimmed the sides. So very self-explanatory. Um, another thing that I have done is I have taken and. Um, sewed <laughs> there we go okay so um what do we have okay let's cut the the part with the soft off okay. and you can just take a sewing needle and remember crepe paper is pretty fragile but you can just go ahead and so, basting. This is a basting stitch. I'm at about a quarter of an inch um, for each stitch. And you can see I'm just piling them all onto the, um, the needle. This is something that we've done for years. I think they call them in fabric their yo-yos. Uh, if you do folded paper, they are rosettes, and I'm just going to make a crepe paper circle is what I'm making, okay? So back in the day, sometimes we'd make those big flowers out of tissue paper, and sometimes we'd make these silly little rosette things, and... Um, Go ahead and, oh, I didn't knot it. I want to knot it or put something on the end. And to knot it, I'm just going to go around my finger. One, two, three. And then I'm going to roll this bottom thread and roll all of them together. Okay, and you see how it's making that knot? And I'm going to pull it. And now I have a knot. It's not super pretty not super pretty but, but it will work and then I can go ahead and pull this through pull this through okay and get an idea of how far we are so if you want a half size fan you can go about there looks like we need about that many more to have the rosette so these will be fun, or could be fun, in collaging and that. And of course, you can make smaller ones with the half size of your crepe paper. 
and and of course if I'd have just pulled it off <laughs> would have been better okay so now we're gonna measure and see how we are if we yeah we have enough okay so my last stitch I'm going to go ahead and actually pull out the scissors. I'm going to go ahead and fold it. I want, actually want that to be my last stitch right there because it's, um, it's an underneath stitch. So I'm going to make that be my last one. Okay, so then um, go ahead and get out your fabric tech. I should have opened the new one, but I didn't. Okay. Fabric tack, glue gun, regular glue, whatever your favorite glue is. I I really like on um, when I'm doing videos. I like to use fabric tack or my hot glue gun. And so I'm just gonna pull that tight, and I'm gonna put these two edges together. And glue them together. Put the edges together and glue them together. Okay. And wait for it to dry. Oh, my, my knot is on the top. I don't want my knot on the top. I want my knot on the bottom. It should not be on the top. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put something over it anyway. So there is my little rosette. We're going to want to tie it off. I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, there we go. I'll go through. Whoops through itself a couple times and you can do this with fabric you can also um, fold it in together if you need it to be double sided like if you want to hang it from a bookmark or something in your journal or paper crafting um, so I'll show you how you can start that we won't make another one but there is my little rosette, and then because I'm putting this in a journal, I'm going to flatten it. Okay. So there you go. You have a rosette that you can use and even put like underneath what's going to be on the cover or something. Okay, so for your folded... You're just going to fold your crepe paper in half. Okay. And remember, be very careful that you're just pushing down. Don't pull because you'll pull it apart. So just push it down. And then you go ahead and sew it together. <clears throat> and you'll have a double-sided and a small one. And then these, you can take your small one finish it, put something in the center on both sides, and then you can actually take it and tie it and it can hang down from something. So that is just another fun way to use some crepe paper. Let's go ahead and we'll finish up this little tag here. Um, heck, we've got this, might as well. We'll probably, we'll use that on here as well. Okay, so um, I'm using this black and white stripe, my favorite washi throughout. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, check it out today, or when I'm filming this was today. Um, I'm a cool mom. Jessica at I'm a cool mom had asked a question about 
washi tape techniques. How do you how do you like to use your washi? Um, and so I answered in her comments with several of the ways that I like to use washi. And then um, I did a challenge in my Scrap All About It group, a washi challenge. So um, if you're a member of Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, you'll, you might want to go over there and, and join in on that challenge. And um, I think it's going to be fun. I'm just going to start. I decided that I would add some challenges in my actual group. And um, they are for all paper crafting, not just for those that um, that do um, junk journals. My, my, my group is for all Okay, so I'm going to just go around. I've got this thread here. And so I'm just going to go around and sew around one of these circles. And I can hold it up to the light and see through it from the bottom. I just want to use up this thread. That, that is one of the things that I do is try and use up as much of the stuff that is around me and a lot of time that is my inspiration for what I'm choosing to make um, what you know what my journal or my paper crafting thing theme of the day is going to be it really has to do with what is around me and so the crepe paper uh, just came to me from my mom's stash and I didn't want it to to sit and not get used and I wanted to use it before I put it away at least a little so and it's perfect for this little the hot air balloon journal that I'm working or the mini journal so there we go and then I think we'll come over here and come in through the center and I'm just gonna do a knot just for some texture because I really feel that this this little mini journal is very much about texture and and stuff like that so and then I think I'll come up and do this one it's not right in the center but that's okay okay so this just gives me um, a decorated area for an embellishment to put into this mini journal and so I hope you liked this little video about crepe paper and I'm sure you can find a variety of crepe paper at like the party stores and things like that like I said this particular um, crepe paper came from my mom's stash and um, I think they used it at my bridal shower. As I think, I think that's where it came from. Because my bridal shower was black and white polka dots and um, damask decorations. So that would be at least nine, nine years ago. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and cut those off. Oh, you know what? We didn't tie it. We got to tie this one off. Oops. I was going to tie them together was what I was going to do. Oh, gosh. Stupid thumb. Yeah, we're going to have to go and have this. You know, the, the other one healed on its own, but it didn't hurt as bad as this one hurts. I can't even, can't even open like a Ziploc bag without it hurting really, really bad. Okay, so there we go. So, there we go. Um, so, do you have crepe paper in your, in your stash, either your own or from someone else? So, what other things could we do? Well, another thing that we could do is we could make ribbon out of it. Let's grab a new, you know, a new piece. 
So we could literally take it um, and make ribbon out of it. We made a, rib a ribbon a ruffle and so we can take and triple this like this. Okay, and you could glue those down or not. That's totally up to you. Could even um, fold it one more time. Okay. And then we could use it as um, a tag topper, you know, like just taking it and folding it like this. And let's see if we have something that we can use for a tag. This is my my little things that we are using for this particular journal. So then we can just come in and staple it on. One of my favorite tag toppers for a journal because it adds less bulk than tying it in a knot. Um, so you could take your, um, obviously we can go ahead and sew this down just like we did the other. Um, we can make a tab in like this and have a little tab on the edge of something. You know, just like have a little tab or a pull tab on it. Um, Oh yeah, I was thinking this these bingo circles, and I actually did buy a bingo game at Dollar General that had these, and it has the cards in it, and um, so we could do something, you know, like put this can go in the center, or especially of your smaller one, your half size uh, little one, could have that that little six in it. Um, let's see. I can just go ahead and fold this triple. I mean, because a crepe paper is going to have a lot of... Uh, okay, so I'm pulling the edge and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pull this edge this edge and then fold it or you can fold it and then just pull the edge because then you get the fan look more on the flat fan look more on the page that you're attaching it to and then up at where it's sticking out it's it's um, smaller and then you'll want to come in and, and trim that up so there would give you a tab that you could put on the side of a page. So, um, so your paper ribbon can then come in. This is our little journal. And this one isn't double-sided. So probably going to want to put this one on a page. And you can go ahead and just glue it down because it is paper going to paper. And you have this little ruffly edge. You can ruffle edge on the bottom. You can ruffle edge on the side of an image. by the top. Of course you can ruffle edge. You can make a really long ruffle, come back in and cut the pieces that you need. Um, I would highly recommend that. Another thing that might be kind of fun is to take your trim or your ribbon, your paper ribbon, and come in with a really cool trim. And This trim I found in my mom's um, stash and I thought it would be really fun to use this in this journal. So there's that, or you, know, you can add 
some lace and some trim. Some of this is obvious, but you know, there's for your collaging. Isn't that cool? Wouldn't that be cool on one of these, um, the tab? So you could, and you can glue this um, with your fabric tack, or you can sew it with the sewing machine. And so these can become, you know, can go on the edge. That might be kind of really cool on the cover. You might see that on the cover. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you could bring in some measuring tape, add it to it. And I mean, there's just so many, many great things. So I did also pull out some stamps so that were kind of along the theme a stamp maybe with, um, with a lace edge. I really like this ledge. I, I really like this edge. <laughs> so, and then your stamp could hang over and it could be like a tuck space on the tab that is sticking out of the journal. <laughs> See that? I can't even pick that drawer up. Um, okay, so then you just come in and attach it like that. Okay, so those are some ideas. Um, yeah, I didn't put them, actually finish them, put them in the journal right now because I'm, I'm still putting the journal together. But I wanted to give you some ideas using crepe paper. So I hope that gave you some great ideas. Um, which one was your favorite? And uh, do you have crepe paper? Have you used it in your journals before? And um, yeah, so this is Saturday. Actually, today is Friday. And I'm going to go ahead and put this... this so anyway... I hope you enjoyed all of this. I hope it gave you some great ideas that you can take home and use to create your awesome paper crafts. And now having a new t tool that could be inexpensive or you might even already have around the house. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget about the challenge at the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, the washi tape challenge. The details are there. And I will give you um, a playlist of some other embellishments. A play I, I will attach the embellishment playlist to this video. So if you're looking for something to watch making embellishments, you might want to check that out down in the comments below. Have an amazing day and thanks for being here. Bye.